Hello and in this big programming tutorial I am going to be doing an analog temperature sensor and then we are physically going to display the temperature on 8 segment displays. Now let's have a look at the schematic. The analog temperature sensor that I'm going to be using is a LM35A. Now this is one of the more simple temperature sensors. You just have your supply voltage in, ground, and then our analog voltage out is going to the analog input of the pick on RA0. And the rest is just a circuit for the A segment display. I have a video that explains the circuit. Now let's have a look at the data sheet. Now the LM35A is an analog temperature sensor which is the LM35 series are precision integrated circuits temperature devices with an output voltage linear proportional to centigrade temperature. Then its main feature it has a linear temperature scale of 10 millivolts per degree Celsius. So it's fairly simple to do the temperature conversion for these analog sensors. I'm going to be using the basic centigrade temperature sensor which basically works from 2 degrees to 150 uh, degrees Celsius. Which is literally just the B plus to ground and then your output to an analog sensor. Then you have the full range temperature sensor which adds the one resistor here and then to a negative ground. Because you need a negative voltage on these sensors to be able to display a negative degrees Celsius which you can see over here. And then here's also the calculation for uh, negative degrees but we are going to go with the basic centigrade temperature sensor since it rarely drops below zero degrees in my area. Then in section 3 we have the transfer function which is actually fairly simple. We have our V out times our millivolts times temperature. Then we just need to manipulate this transfer function to get the temperature out according to the voltage. Which is basically going to be our voltage that we get out times 0 0.01 to get our temperature. Okay, now the code is a stripped down version of the 8 segment display code. So we retain most of the functions. We have the UART printout functions and then the only functions we keep from it is seg numbers and then seg convert numbers which we are going to change a bit later to work with floating points and then we have our standard oscillator for 8 megahertz setup our pin output setup and then the uart initialized uh, with interrupts enabled with priority just a string to send us data out and then uart receive and then in the interrupts we have the uart receive in the high priority interrupt all right now let's start with the code now the first thing we add is our ADC resolution which I'm just going to go paste in here since I've covered it in a previous tutorial. Now the next thing we add is our degree centigrade per volt which is 10 millivolts. So then we add a hash define C per volt which gives us 10 millivolts so 0 0.01 volts per degree centigrade for the analog temperature. Then we go down to our global variables. We create a volatile uh, uint 16 and we call that sensor temp and we say u16 so we know which data variable we have here. Then we add another variable which is also going to be volatile and we call that tmr0 overflow and we set it also equals to zero. Now the TMR zero is just going to be a overflow counter and that is going to be a uint 16 as well. Now since we have the basic setup here next thing you want to do is initialize the ADC. So we quickly just create a function void ADC underscore init and we give it void parameters since I have covered this in a previous video, I'm going to just copy the previous video settings, paste them in. PCFG for the analog inputs, we are going to set to 0E, so we set RA0 as a input. So we also have to do the TRIS A um, register, we bits, and we say RA0 is equals to 1 for input, and that needs to be a dot. Now we need to set up a interrupt for the analog to digital converter. So we say the peripheral interrupt enable 1 and we say bits 
Now we have ADIE, so we enable the interrupt here. Then we have to set the priority of the interrupt, so IPR uh, bits, IPR 1 bits, and we say the priority is equals to 1 to put it as a high priority interrupt. And this is optional, what I'm going to do now is PIR 1 bits, ADIF, we manually clear the flag. Now this is optional, but it is good practice. Okay, then we have our analog setup and our interrupt setup. So we say ADC net, copy that function, tick it in before the URT net. The next module we need to set up is the timer. So, so we just create a function void tmr0 init and we also pass it void parameters. Also something I covered in a previous video. Just quickly paste that in. Now basically this timer is set up to overflow once a millisecond or once every 1,024 milliseconds it will overflow. Okay, it's also a high priority interrupt and it is currently switched off. So we take this tmr0 init function, put that under IDC init and we enable that and then for the timer we need to switch it on so we take the tcon0 bits and just before our main for loop starts we say tcon0 equals 1 to switch our timer on okay now we have two interrupts that we need to set up which is the ADC and the timer interrupt so we say if and we create another if under that and then for the ADC in the first if we say PIR one uh, bits dot ADIF equivalent to one clear that interrupt after we have entered it okay now we need to capture the value that we get from the ADC so we go back to the top we get the sensor temp uh, UN16 value we go back down to our interrupt we say sensor temp is equals to AD res H bit shifted by 8 and in case that in brackets and then we or that with a res uh, L and that will capture our current value of the temperature sensor in a UN16 form so just the raw reading from the analog temperature sensor now we need to set up timer and that will be int con bits and we say tmr if equals one and we also clear the flag over here and then we quickly go to the top and we find our timer overflow we just quickly stick that in here and every time it overflows just increment the timer overflow okay now we need to write a function that converts our analog reading to a temperature reading then we have a function that returns a float and we are going to call that adc to temp so our analog value to a temperature value that takes in a uint 16 value and we are just going to call that raw so we just return our let's just correct that spelling we just return raw times our adc uh, res so our raw times our adc resolution gives us the voltage that we currently have and then we divide our adc resolution by c per volt that will give us the floating point number of what the current temperature is to whatever decimal point. So now that we have the ADC temperature, we are going to need some method of displaying that temperature. So we go back to our seg convert number. So we just duplicate this function. This is now where C++ um, function overloading would have been nice, but we don't have that. So we just call this function float. Uh, so seg convert float that will take in a floating point number and we'll just call that temp for temporary not temperature and we say uint 16 underscore t we then take num is equals to temp times a hundred so basically what we're doing is we're just shifting the decimal points so that we can actually display it on the eight segments itself since the eight segments are in a type of BCD format. So we're just converting it to the second decimal point. So we're multiplying by 100 and then we chuck away the rest of the decimal points so that we have a real number. And then we have our remainder. Then we need to add our decimal point. So we go to the second segment which is this one then we say let b 
is or equals to one to switch on the dot on the segment then after we deselect the segment we say let b is and equals to fe and that will clear the dot pin on the eight segment display and that needs to be 0x for hexadecimal we could do a test compile okay so the code compiles now we are going to get to the meat of the stuff and actually start displaying it on the eight segment display so what we create in our main is just a float and we say that's temp reading take that we copy it and we go after our URI is printed we say temp reading is equals to uh, ADC temp and we pass in what is the global variable again sensor temp un16 to it so that will give us a temperature reading but or we do that we need to trigger a ADC read so before anything else we trigger our ADC read so this is going to be a singular read just to initialize our values so that we don't have zero zero on our display as it comes up then we have the temp reading equals to ADC to temp okay. now the reason I initialize the timer we have if TMR0 overflow is greater or equals to 500 so every 500 milliseconds update our temperature reading on the display and then when we are done with that just reset the timer overflow variable to zero so that we continuously can have this read and check if we need to do a conversion then we are going to add a small little debug for us we say if your char is equivalent to the character d so for debug we just print out a small little string to the screen which i have pre-prepped over here with an s print f is going to change that to the temperature reading what this function is doing if i send a d to it from my computer via the uart then it basically prints out whatever the temperature is currently on the sensor so that we can cross reference and debug then we go get our display function for the floating points so say convert float we take that and we just call it here then we take our temp reading we insert that in so this will update the display on every loop uh, then we take our ADC trigger function we go underneath our segment display then we remove the knob from this we change the while to an if we re-indent it quickly we say if go down is equals to zero then do another reading on the ADC so we just trigger our ADC read again here okay and then we have our UART receive that if there is any data on the UART receive just reset the variable back to false okay so let's quickly program the pick okay now we have the temperature sensor over here now you can see it's about 16 to 17 degrees are temperatures currently now when i press my finger against the sensor you'll see it start to increase slowly but surely now the random jumps is because i'm not averaging the temperature uh, value as i hold it i'm going to apply more heat to it that gives me about 24 degrees and then when I let the sensor go, let it just rest, then the temperature will go down again, slowly but surely. Now while we wait, I'm just going to give a seizure warning because it's going to start flashing. When I press D, we are going to have a debug message on the UART and you can see the debug message on screen and now we just press any other key and that will disable the debug message and return it to normal and then we can see the temperature is actually decreasing slowly to ambient again and that's using a pick with a analog temperature sensor the code will be on git a like comment and subscription will be greatly appreciated thank you have a nice day